the 10 common interview mistakes you should avoid making for every job the interview is key your cv and cover letter get your foot in the door but the interview is where you can present yourself as the best possible candidate for the role however even with the importance of interviews constantly stressed many people still make simple errors which can cost them the job don't be one of them each interviewer will seek different qualities and competencies which are dependent on the position you are applying for that said there are always a few simple mistakes that employers look out for which could disqualify you from the position the job market is extremely competitive and you need to ensure you don't make these mistakes so what are these 10 common interview mistakes which you should avoid the number one failing to prepare preparation is key to any interview a lack of preparation gives you a major disadvantage over other candidates and will cost you a job before you have even walked in the door many candidates spend the night before an interview doing last minute preparation and stressing out which means they end up looking tired worn out and increasing the chance of forgetting something vital looking tired will leave a bad impression on the interviewer always get a good night's sleep before the day of an interview and make sure you have your cv cover letter and any additional documents or items you need to bring for the interview absolutely ready on the day of the interview remember to plan ahead and arrive 10 to 15 minutes early as arriving late could kill your chances of getting the job make sure to have breakfast and go to the toilet before you get there last but not the least make sure to turn your mobile off before going into an interview cabin if it rings in an interview cabin the interviewer will not be impressed and if you answer it they definitely will reject you failing to research the organization is second if you are going to an interview for a particular company make sure you know everything you can about them spending a couple of hours the night before researching the organization and role will give you confidence going into the interview some interviewees will have conducted little to no research at the very least you must have researched what the organization does and what the role being offered asks for then research the size of the company as well as its working practices and any other information you can find about it finally research the industry they operate in and how it is evolving to recent developments usually reading a couple of newspapers will throw up a story surrounding their industry or alternative you could set up a google alert of the organization using such knowledge in an interview will demonstrate your commercial awareness and leave your employer with the impression that you know what you are doing number three poor presentation no matter what the organization that you are applying for is always dress professionally even if the office is having a casual friday or the interview is in a relaxed setting you need to dress smart unless the interview expressly states that the dress code is something different dressing down will leave your interviewer with the impression that you are poorly organized and unprofessional this is where preparation will once again help as you need to set out your clothes the night before and make sure they are ironed and cleaned at the same time body language in an interview is very important when you get there make sure you give the interviewer a firm handshake with a smile in the interview itself maintain eye contact with the interviewer and make sure you keep your hands on the table an interview is stressful you will need to fight the urge to fidget 
but it's worth it number 4 taking too long to answer questions many questions that interviewers will ask are deliberately open however if you spend too long on a certain question you can steer off track off the purpose of it go off on a tangent and leave your employer confused about your answer on the other hand a simple yes or a no response is usually terrible the appropriate response to an interview question should be roughly 3 to 4 minutes long and should be clear and concise it should also demonstrate all of your experience and competencies to further pitch yourself number 5 not structuring your answer A competency based question is one that asks you to describe a particular skill such as communication, leadership and problem solving and your answer to such questions are key to the success of your interview. Example questions that may include for this particular subhead give an example when you have led a team. Tell me about a time when you failed to complete a task or a project on time despite intending to do so. Describe an achievement that you are proud of and tell us why. What did you find challenging? Tell me about a time when you improved the way things were typically done on the job. Many people fail to recognize the importance of such questions or don't know how to answer them, which is typically done using the STAR method. And what is that? S stands for situation, T for task, A for action. are for response so situation task action and response is what the star method is every employer looks for such a method when an interviewee answers a certain question so make sure you demonstrate specific competencies that you have and how they are relevant to the task that you face number 6 stressing out an interview is one of the most stressful experiences of your working life and you need to remain calm throughout it If you have prepared well it should take some of the pressure off but when you are in the interview remember that the interviewer is not your enemy talk to him or her just like a normal person would don't drink too much coffee beforehand as it will increase your stress levels and avoid dutch courage too finally don't smoke right before an interview no matter how tempting it is even if you are a regular smoker avoid that because the ac might catch up the smoking breath and you will be exposed number 7 arrogance confidence is key to any interview or presentation but seeming too cocky will make the interviewer hate you stay humble about your achievements no matter how good they are as there will always be another person within the company who's achieve more than you refraining from the use of excessive technical jargon and multi syllabic words will show your employer that you can stay humble as well as communicate on a number of different levels dependent on the situation furthermore if you have worked in a team on a project don't elevate yourself above the rest of your team and make it seem like you did all the work even if you did it but rather recognize the importance of your contribution within the team eighth criticism if you are currently employed and the interviewer asks you you why you are leaving be polite and humble criticizing your previous employer will leave a negative impression on the interview saying that you want a change in company or that you want to be part of a bigger or a smaller company is perfectly understandable and suitable however saying that you hated your previous job or an employer will make the interviewer doubt your motivation for the position and your manners as with previous employers don't criticize any other candidates who have applied for the same position as you some may be hopeless but in most jobs you will have to work within a team and criticizing those around you will only serve to create future conflict within the workplace even if pushed don't criticize any of the other candidates during the interview number 9th not asking any question at the end of the day you are not just applying to a job because you want to please your employer you may also have your own questions to ask and by asking them it not only demonstrates your confidence but also proves to the interviewer your motivation towards the role 
recruiters can and will fail a candidate for not asking questions or asking poor questions and so it is key that you ask them however these questions should not be personal or about topics you already should have researched rather ask about the work environment and the future of your career example questions could be how would you describe the work culture here what do you enjoy most about working here what would you expect from me in the first 100 days on the job what training and professional development opportunities are available questions such as these will demonstrate your commitment to the role and will help to ensure you the position number 10 not following up no matter how well an interview goes it is always vital that you follow up on it make sure you get an email or numbers on the way out of your interview so that you can check how you have done if necessary even if you fail to get the job they should be able to provide feedback for you occasionally you may not be successful because someone else was more qualified for the position usually though there is something that you could have improved upon and in that scenario you will be glad that you asked for the advice even if you don't make any of the mistakes mentioned on the list there is still a chance you won't get the position the best thing to do is practice with mock interviews either with friends families or mentors or by going to the mock interview centers to best on your skills so i hope going through this you would certainly mind not committing these 10 common interview mistakes and polish to yourself for the first attempt of yours so best wishes and thank you